ratio and the bar method. In today's lesson, we will be looking at using the bar method to answer ratio questions. If you would like to have a look at answering more difficult questions, there is another video up um, on the website regarding using the bar method to solve difficult ratio questions. In today's lesson, we will be just looking at answering simple, straightforward questions using the bar method. So just a little bit of a recap then, because we are talking about ratios. What is a ratio? Well, a ratio is used to compare things. So for example, you can compare the number of boys to the number of girls in a classroom. So you might have 15 boys and 12 girls in your class. And you would write this 15 to 12. And we would say the ratio of boys to girls is 15 to 12. And that's how you would say this. And then obviously you can go about answering questions such as if I had 30 boys in my class, how many girls would you expect me to have? Well, that would be 24 because I double the 15 to get 30. So I'm going to have to double the 12 to get 24. And then obviously there are other things that you could do with the ratios. You could simplify ratios. Um, but the main thing a ratio is used for is to compare things. So in this situation, for every 15 boys in a class, you will always have 12 girls. Um, and that is what a ratio is. Okay, so. Well, what kind of questions may you expect to answer when looking at ratios? So this will be one of the type of questions that you will be asked to answer. So for example, share 42 pounds in the ratio two to four. Okay, so this means you've got 42 pounds and you are sharing in the ratio two to four. So that means that somebody's getting two parts and the other person is getting four parts. And that's what it means, rate sharing in the ratio two to four. So that means two parts. And that means four parts. OK, it's just a different way of writing this. So rather than saying somebody's getting two parts of the money, the other person getting four parts of the money, we write it as a ratio. Well, there are two different ways of doing this. I'm going to show you the bar method first. So share 42 pounds in the ratio two to four. So if somebody's getting two parts and the other person's getting four parts, how many parts is the money being shared into all together? Well, it's being shared into six parts, isn't it? Now, because it's been shared into six parts, we are going to draw a box or a bar with six boxes in it. So let's have a go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. Okay, and then we need to draw our lines in the little boxes and you can see that I've got six boxes here. Now, somebody's getting two boxes or two parts and the other person getting four. So after the number two or two boxes, should I say, I'm going to draw a little, a little squiggle or you could draw a line to part to separate the boxes. So somebody's getting these two parts and the other person's getting those four parts. Now I've got 42 pounds all together. And I'm going to write that down underneath. 42 pounds is shared into these six boxes. So how will I work out what one part is? I'm going to do 42 divided by six because I've got 42 pounds and then they're being shared into six boxes. You could say that gives me seven. So that means that each box is seven. Okay, now I can work out um, how much is each. So the two parts, one is 14 pounds, isn't it? Because seven of seven. And the four parts, you can either do seven, add seven, add seven, add seven, or just seven times four, which is 28. And we have to write the answer in this order. I can't write 28 pounds and 14 pounds. That would be incorrect because the question says share 42 pounds in the ratio two to four. So you want two parts first, then you want four parts afterwards. So that's why you have to write the answer in that order, 14 pounds and 28 pounds. And then obviously you can check your answer if it's correct by adding the numbers up at the end. So 14 and 28, if you add them up, you should end up with 42 and that is correct. Okay. 
let's have a look then in another example. Share 36 pounds in the ratio and we'll do um, three to nine. Okay, it gets slightly a little bit more complicated when you have big numbers and you have to draw big boxes. For example, the one above, we only have to draw six boxes, which is nice and simple. Um, but I will show you obviously what happens um, if you if, if you end up with a big amount and you and you don't really want to draw those boxes in either. But what happens is by drawing the box, it's more visual and you can see. So you can see here above, it's very visual and you'll be able to answer the questions very easily. And the boxes really, really help when you start looking at more difficult questions. So share 36 pounds in the ratio three to nine. Somebody's getting three parts. And the other person's getting nine parts. How many parts is that all together? Well, nine and three is 12. So we need to draw 12 boxes. So I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Draw my box. And I'm just gonna split my box up like this. We have to double check that we've got 12 boxes, obviously. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. After three, I'm just going to draw myself a squiggly line because somebody's getting these three parts and the other person is getting those nine parts. Well, this whole bar is worth 36 pounds. So if I'm sharing 36 into, these, into this bar, how will I work out how much one box is? Well, one box is going to be 36 divided by 12, isn't it? Because I'm sharing 36 into 12 boxes. That means one box is three. So you just write three in each one. Okay. I want to know how much three um, boxes are. So that's three times three, which is nine. And then three times nine, which is 27. Okay, and there we are, we are done. We have worked out um, how much each person gets. So the person with three parts gets nine pounds and the person with nine parts gets 27 pounds. And there we are. Obviously it gets a little bit more tricky when you are looking at questions that have um, got a bigger part to share into and you can't draw the boxes. And then obviously in that situation, you might have to do the other method without the boxes. So let's just have a look here what would the other method be if you wasn't to draw the boxes? So sticking to this method here, you've got 36 pounds and you're sharing into three parts and nine parts. And I'm just gonna keep this box method right near it so you can compare the two. Well, we know that it's 12 parts, isn't it? So you add your ratio, up, three add nine is 12. Your money's been shared into 12 parts altogether. You've got 36 pounds, so you're going to do 36 divided by 12 to get three. And that tells you how much one part is worth. Then I want to know three parts. And I want to know nine parts. So what I'm going to do is three times three, because three is worth one part, which is nine. And then I'm going to do three times nine, which is 27. And there you are. I've worked out the same question in a different way. Obviously, the method with the bar may seem a little bit longer because you're drawing, but it isn't as long as it seems. And plus, it's more visual, so I'd highly recommend this bar method. Let's have a look at another example. We'll do share. 108 pounds in the ratio. Six to three. Okay. Let's have a look then. We've got six parts and three parts there, haven't we? Six and three parts. That is nine parts altogether. So let's draw a rectangle of nine. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, oops. Let's then draw my lines in. Okay. Right. After six boxes, one, two, three, four, five, six, draw myself a little line. 
this whole bar is 108 pounds. I want to know how much one box is. Well, I'm doing 108 divided by, well, there's how many is altogether? Nine, which is 12. So 12 is one box. So I'm just going to write 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Now, I want to know six parts first. So if I'm doing six parts first, well, I can either do 12 times six because that, or you can just add 12 onto 12 six times. But 12 times six is 72 pounds. And then the three parts, 12 and three is 36. And there we are, there is your answer. Remember the order of your questions. Um, you have to have the six parts first and then you should have the three parts afterwards. Okay, if you were to use this box method then, what would you use? Okay, so you are going to do 108 and you are going to divide it by in total how many parts you're sharing your money in, which is nine to get 12. If you're not going to draw the box method, I would advise you to label uh, what each of your working out is. So for example, I can see clearly with the bar method that one box is 12. It's really hard to see that if you're not using the bar method. So if I've done 108 divided by nine, I've written 12 is one part. So I know that one part or in my head, one box is 12. I want to work out six parts and three parts. We well, know that one part is 12. So that's 12 times six and then 12 times three. 12 times six is 72 and 12 times three is 36. And I've still ended up with the exact same answer. Let's do the last one. Share. Let's have a look. Um, 155 pounds in the ratio. Two to three. Well, that together is five parts, isn't it? So pretty simple there. So I'm going to do, that's three, four, five. There we are. I'll just zoom in a little bit. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So you've got two boxes and then three boxes here. Yeah? There we are. So all this is worth 155. And I want to work out how much is in one box. So I've got to do 155 divided by 5. While we're here, let's recap the bus step method. So if you can't do that in our head, or you might be able to. How many 5s in 1? 0. So you carry the 1 over. How many 5s go into 15? Well, it's 3, isn't it? And how many 5s into 5 then is 1? That means one box is 31 pounds. So 31, 31, 31. 31 and 31. Okay, so I want to know two parts and then three parts. So 31 times two then, that's what I'm going to do, 62 pounds. And then we want to know three parts. So it's 31 times three, which is 93 pounds okay remember you have to write your answer in order so i want two parts first so it's 62 and 93 pounds and that is your final answer and that is how you use the bar method to answer ratio questions let's quickly just do this without doing the bar just so you can see So you would add your ratio up, 2 add 3 is 5. You would do 155 divided by 5, and that would give you one part. So the answer to that is 31. We worked out, we would write one part down. Now then you would write two parts and, six, and three parts, sorry, down. And obviously if one part is 31, two parts is 31 times 2 to get 62 pounds and then three parts is 31 times three then to get 93 pounds and that there is your answer and that is how you use ratios uh, in bar method to work out um, different questions 
obviously these are simple straightforward questions to do with sharing ratios um, and you can use the bar method to share ratios however if you want to use ratios regarding questions with more than questions which are quite popular there is another video on that to have a look at but this is just a simple short method of how to work out the ratio um, with sharing questions using the bar method I've also shown you how to do the method without the bar next to it, just so you can see and compare. It's exactly the same thing, um, just that you don't have to draw the boxes. But obviously, the boxes are quite visual um, and it's better to draw the boxes because it will help you when doing the more than questions well. And if you've got practice of using the bar method, it will help you when you're looking at more than questions. That was all for today's lesson. Thank you for watching.